beautiful so good morning everyone welcome to your sunday yoga hey it's called feel good sunday for a reason so we try to nicely combine the body mind and soul uh, for those who are new to my yoga who knows that it's a bit of aspect of not just the stretching i always use the strength in it as well especially when you're holding posture a bit longer or if i design the sequence the way um, that it's a few one by one standing postures right so you really can get good work into your legs so strengthen the legs strengthen the glutes and obviously the whole body now if you are new to it right and you're not used to of the strength aspect of the yoga so beginners often got the problems with wrist in terms of the chaturangas or when we go in downward dog three leg dog combination so you always can adjust the posture you don't need to do the combination you can stay just in the holding of the downward dog so with the flow we have that aspect of going from downward dog to three leg dog and then we do lots of strengthening in terms of the balancing on your arms so try always engage the back if you feel that it's too much for your wrist for the shoulders i did get a feedback a little bit some people have a problem with the wrist so make sure you really use your lats your wings so i'm pressing of the arms so it's sort of like when you would do your handstand right you don't want to collapse into the shoulder and collapse in the joint you really want to actively push out of it and therefore engage into the back into the core muscle work also through the pecs yeah so rather try to use the big muscle groups than the small joints so that's it what you need is the mat positive attitude hey a um, couple of blocks or bricks I leave it up to you uh, if you're flexible you don't need it sometimes it's a nice support when we going either in a balancing or when we do a hip open uh, glute stretches so you can support your either knees or bum so the alignment is uh, really good and that's our priority we know that the main thing is to have a perfect alignment the depth the time the difficulty it will come so we should start hey it's almost four past it is four past it's almost five past that's what i was gonna say if you guys have any injuries please write me yeah i do i do always answer when you write in a chat window i have a uh, usually no chance to write while i'm taking the class because really uh, our priority is to give you a really good class yeah so let's start in the center of the mat we go for the nice meditation we do full body mobilization we release the fascia release the joints then we come into flow where you can choose which level you want to take hey i give options and we finish with some compression neutralize the spine with the twist and we just finish with the final meditation as well so happy sunday come on your mat if the music is too loud let me know we should be nice and ready so don't forget to breathe especially in a more challenging postures let's go so starting in the center of the mat easy seat or lotus whatever works for your hip now sit in the position whatever position you got i want you now change the legs so we want to go today for the least comfortable seat so if the right is on the bottom put it on the top yeah so we want to evenly work the body this way i never know where is the camera <laughs> lovely so let's ground inhale and exhale nice long inhaling through the nose belly rise unlike in our pilates 
exhales with the mouth belly falls so roll your shoulders back try to relax through the hip your hands are gently on the knees and start to go with it nicely lifting from the crown of the head now for those who come in regularly to my yoga class you know mobilization warm-up stays the same as I want you to really get connected listen to your body and listen to your higher self so nurture yourself physically and spiritually now start checking your body for any discomfort, any tight area, perhaps a knowledge previously injured area. And send nice, long, loving exhale to the spot. Finally, you can set an intention for today's class. Could be emotional, physical, or perhaps healing for yourself, or planet Earth, and the humanity as a whole. And without the judgment, observe the body through entire class. Keep in mind that every day is a new day. There is no other moment than now moment. So keep yourself present through the class and through each movement. Doesn't mean where you were yesterday, you will be today. Yes, so we want to create the most effective class for you possible right now. Make it a final deep inhale through the nose for at least six counts. And on an exhale, let all stale air out, all unwanted energy out. You can gently open up your eyes and let's start with the full body. Now bring the hands in a prey in the center of your chest. Roll your shoulders back, ground your sitting bone, lift up high. Inhale, lengthen the arms up to the sky. On the exhale, bring the right hand 12, left hand 8, rotate behind your left shoulder. Gently keep pushing chest forward, shoulders back. Try to not grab through the hips or relax through the hip, relax through the leg. Keep your hands where they are. One more time, inhale and lift. Exhale, rotate further back. And come back to center into your prayer. Let's do other side. Inhale, lift up, stretch up. Exhale, bring your left hand 12, right hand 4, rotate behind your right shoulder. Now, if you cannot sit straight in this position, it's okay to hold the knee. Yeah, just keep your spine nice corrected, including your neck. So that would be another option. Keep the hands where they are. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, rotate further back. And come back to center into the prey, the usual forward fold. Inhale, lift up, stretch up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. So leading with the chest, keep the sitting bone grounded. If you go about just to four, bring the fingers down to floor and forward to floor.
stay there. I just want to explain it. I don't want to talk to the floor. You stay there, grounding through the tail, stretching through the fingers. If the head is not too floor, we just grab it to take off. And walk your hands to the right. Nice. Ground through the left sitting bone, stretching the whole left side. And come back to center. Walk your hands to the left, grounding to the right sitting bone. Relax your jaw. And come to center. Inhale, tummy in and lift up, support your back. And exhale, hands to the right. We go other side, so come back into your regular position. Back in a frame, roll your shoulders back. Inhale, lift up, stretch. Exhale, length and pushing chest forward. Arms nicely up. And now slowly bringing fingers to floor and forehead to floor. Notice if there is uh, some tight area anywhere. Yeah, so if you do feel that this part is tight, keep exhaling to the spot. And walk your hands to the right. Again, grounding the left sitting bone. Really, you do want to shift the weight just from the waist up. The lower body should stay here. And come to center. You know we're going to other side. So going to left, ground the right sitting bone. And come back to center. Inhale, tummy in, lift up, 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 up. Just perfect the lower back. Exhale, hands to pray. So our usual cat cow coming nicely on our fours, continue through your spine. Again, keep the alignment. Yeah. So your hip align with the knee, your shoulder, elbow, wrist align. Try not to sink also in the shoulders, yes? So we're pressing off the hand. Elbows are hugged into the rib cage. So starting nice and slow. On an inhale, come into your cup. So drop the belly down, come in a back bend. Now the position, arms nicely, shoulders externally rotated. Gently pushing chest forward, still keeping the height. Hold here for a couple of breaths. Now you can slowly sink deeper in your back bend and notice if there is no tightness through lower back. Yeah? So be gentle if you have an injury. With your next exhale, stay there. Curve into your angry cat. So pushing into the back, pressing of your arms, relax your head. And start gently moving forward and back. I want you to find the tightest spot in your spine or possibly the neck. So this will be very individual. But you dare try to push slightly higher into the area. Curving in the spine. But just completely let your head go. So use the gravity to lengthen the cervix spine, the neck area. We go three with the rhythm. Inhale, come into your cow. Keep the height, nice back bend. Exhale, hollow up and curve. Coming in your angry cat. Two more. Inhale, open up. Exhale. So check if the hips working evenly, right and left. One last one. Inhale, open. And exhale, hollow up and curve. Beautiful. Last week we went through gate lunge, so coming your neutral spine. Today, back to threading your needle. 
So in her slide, your left arm underneath the right. Make sure the hips perpendicular. You can rest the head there for now. So my right hip align with the right knee. Shoulders away from ears, so again, don't drop things up there. Keep the left. Inhale, stretch your right arm up to sky. Now for the exhale, I want you to try to drive the right arm forward. It's quite tough this one. Inhale, lift up, 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 up. Exhale, try to go for a bra. So bind the arms, so go behind your back. Try to grab your left thigh. So here we go, you're really into the shoulder mobility. If you're hypermobile, Sanya, if you do this exercise, really have awareness of how the shoulder position stay. Good. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, bring your hand down, shoulders away from ears. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press off the right arm, twist and turn to left. Lift up, look up. We're stretching through your left pectoral muscle, left biceps, stretching up, shoulders down, rotating the spine. Careful you're not in your lower back. You want to make the rotation nicely from the area between the shoulder blades. And bring your hands down. Let's do other side. So I turn. This time your right arm, so again perpendicular, right arm slides under left. So first bring the whole shoulder head down. You can rest your head, shoulders away from here, elbow diagonal from the shoulder. Inhale, stretch your left arm up. I definitely feel this dominant side for me, the right one tighter. So there's another little things where you can notice the difference right and left. Now try to bring that left arm forward. Forward. And lift up, 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 up. And now go for a bun. Grab the left arm from behind your back. Try to grab your right thigh. So if you did yesterday, my palm class, there is a chance your shoulders will be tighter, right? It was a strength class. So I do definitely feel it today. So it's a nice way to stretch it. Inhale, lift up, stretch up. Exhale, bring your left arm down to your floor. Inhale, prepare, tuck your elbow to it. Exhale, push off the left arm, twist and turn to right. Lift up, look up, chest forward, shoulders down. Good, use the side of the tummy to get you that extra lift. And bring your hands down. I go back where I was. It's okay. So you still stay where you are and just pull back in your child pose. You know we're doing a wide child pose. So knees as far out as possible. Ground through your glutes. Lengthen your fingers forward for a time. With each exhale, you can perhaps try to widen up the knee and bring your tushi lower towards the hip. So we're preparing for the body stretch. For your warrior and coming up into your quadruped. Beautiful. Let's do your tiger. Release the hip joint, release the shoulder joint. Inhale, lengthen right arm, left leg. Tip the left hip down, press up the left arm, you know the drill, and then start stretching forward and back. Good. So make sure the lift of the left leg coming from the glutes and hamstring. Yeah, nothing in the lower back, base of the spine straight. And exhale, bring the right elbow to left knee, come into your angle here. Give more body weight forward if you want extra resistance. Lift the knee higher. Just two more breaths. And inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bring your hand down. Let's do other side. 
inhale stretch your left arm right leg tip the hip down press up the right arm you know this one so stretching forward stretching back really good ways that some days we just center the body we work really hard with our pilates with our bar with our pump you know so you really want to now strengthen and lengthen and also realize exhale bring the left elbow to right knee and more body weight forward keep checking with your body how it feels as well right we want to get that mind muscle connection but also perhaps a bit more spiritual connection as well inhale lengthen left arm right leg exhale bring your hands down pushing forward anahata so again hip 90 degrees is either chin chest on the floor or forehead on the floor if you feel tight through your chest keep just forehead on the floor otherwise we try and go down so maybe you can extend your elbows and again breathe in a tight area if well, check what is blocking you what is stopping you to go further is it a shoulder is it my chest maybe it's the bed so keep sending nice long loving exhales to the spot and slowly lift up and becoming through final mobilization stretching the hamstring calf achilles get it into your wrist and ankles so tucking your toes under and with the next exhale push in your downwards dog keeping your knees bent to start with so first your hands shoulder width press of the arm nicely engage through your back as we said first aim is to just lengthen the spine like we did you know you can walk your dog left right right left so checking now how is my achilles calf hamstring Good. If you feel sufficiently stretched through the leg, try to extend both knees while you're not changing the position of the spine. So hands, shoulder waist, feet, hip distance apart, lengthening through the tail. With your final exhale, try to also drive your heels down to the floor. Five times high plank to dog, the last mobilization for your ankles and your wrist. If it's too much, you can go on the knees. As always, I will show a couple of regression and three foot. So optional high plank or plank on the knees or figure. Inhale, come forward into your plank. That would be the regression. Exhale, push in your downwards dog. Inhale, come forward. So one more regression. Make sure you thrust the hip down, pull tummy in. Exhale, press in your dog. I'm showing the full version, last three. Inhale, come forward. If you're in a high plank, tuck your tail under. Exhale, push in your downward dog. Last two, inhale, coming forward. Now your middle finger should point in forward, the elbows up to the rib cage. Exhale, come back. Notice if the ankles also are aligned with your knees. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, push back. And walk your feet to the center of the mat. Rug doll, grab hold on opposite elbow. And just dangle there, left, right right leg release all tension especially through your upper trapezium here yeah, your upper back your neck fully lengthen the spine the gravity helps you and release your arms inhale lift up little tapsi we are on the top 
Lovely. So I have a sip of water. We will go into flow. So as I said, the flow, make it your own, right? If you feel that the variation is too much, just hold the starting position. Beautiful. I'm going to lift the camera slightly up. Good. So I'll see my whole body. Now here I tend to turn. Don't get confused if I turn. I just want you to see the position. So you face into starting on the top of the mat. This is your front. This is the side. I will tell you that you stay in the front. Sometimes I turn because obviously I want you to see how it's looking from the front. So don't get confused. Just stay with the direction rather than copying me exactly what I'm doing. You can copy the position, not the movement in between. Good. So starting in the top of the mat, squeeze your feet together, thrust the pelvis forward, tuck your tail. Now, hands starting, face of the spine, hug yourself with the elbows, release the foot, thrust, off we go. Inhale, come into your back leg. So, keeping the weight on the heel, chest up, squeeze your elbows, push chest more forward. Exhale, coming up, lift your arms up, interlace all fingers, flip the palms up. So just like this, you stay facing forward. I'm going to turn so you guys see. Inhale, lift yourself up from the waist. Exhale, bring the hands to the right, hips to the left. Now from here, we go rotation back. Now I want you to semicircle the arms from the back and come to the right side. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, we repeat, other side. Inhale, lift over the waist. Exhale, bring your hands to the left, hips to the right. Keep pushing chest forward, weight towards the heel. Try to keep the biceps with the ear. Now again, semi-circle from the back bend, the arms to the right, and come back to center. Beautiful. Now release your fingers, just like that. Inhale, lift up, final back bend. And exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Hands come either on the floor or on your shins. Inhale, lift up, look up halfway, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Walk into your high plank or low plank. Chaturanga, low plank. Come into your cobra or upward facing dog. If you're in your cobra, fingers nicely slide under shoulders, elbows hugging. If you're in your upward facing dog, the hips are lifted. Make sure you're not sinking in your upper traps. So pressing of your hands, use the strength of the back. Try to lengthen also from the hip flexor. Not too much compression from your middle lower back. Keep lengthening forward and up, and exhale, push into your downward dog. So nicely press off your arms. So option one, if you're new to it, you stay into this position. Option two, we go the usual combination, where we're coming three leg dog. So walk your feet together, weight is on your left. Inhale, kick stretch your right leg up, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee to chest, hug it in, and kick it back. Inhale, kick stretch up. Now on the exhale, bring your right knee cross to the left elbow. Lower it down to the left wrist. This one is quite tough. Come into your right wrist. Pull up to the right elbow and kick up. Three leg dog. Now everyone stepping forward, right leg, high lunge. 
lift up. So staying high lunge. Your right knee aligned with the right heel. Keep pushing your left hip forward and down. Stay here. I'm going to turn. Good. So, stay in your high lunge. We go a side stretch combination. Now, inhale, lift up the waist. On an exhale, bring both hands to the right. So feel as you have that strong stretch through your left hip flexor, left quadricep, but also now be stretching the whole left side, yeah? Stay there, back heel lifted. Now inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, rotate your arms, palms up. So rotate to the left, palms up. Yeah, good. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, step to the left in your goddess pose. So what is goddess? Turn up. Yeah, both feet in a turn out, palms up. You're gonna go into your hips so you can lower yourself down. Good, we're gonna work now from the arms. So now inhale, lift up, flip your arms down, lift from the goddess. Exhale, come back down. One more time, inhale, lift up, palms down, work from the rotation of the shoulder. Exhale, come back to the goddess, maybe go lower, keep pushing your knees up. We go the twisted goddess, bring your hands down to your knees. Now, bring the left shoulder down, rotate to the right. Good. Other way around, bring your right shoulder down, rotate to the left. You're still facing forward, hey? This is still the facing forward step. And coming back up, push up, lift up, open your arms out to side. Now, I want you to bring, I'll go a little bit further back, I want you now to bring your feet inwards. Yes, yeah, so we have that pigeon toe. If you have a sciatica, keep your feet straight. Now, inhale, lift out from the waist. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. So straight spine, if you can, step on all four fingers. So the fingers would go under the heel, pull on the heel, body weight forward. Now if this is not available to you, you can hold on to ankle, you can hold on to calf, just try nicely keep the shoulders away from you. Once you have the grip, bring more body weight forward on the ball of your feet, pull on the heel and try to stretch the spine up. Hold it there. The more you pull from the quadriceps, from front of the leg, the easier it is to stretch the hamstring, the back of the leg. Keep body weight forward. Release your arms. Now interlace the fingers behind your back. Webbing to webbing, grip again, press your arms up to sky and try to flip them over from behind your head. The neck is nice rested, everything hangs heavy. Beautiful. Now release your arms, open them out to side. Again, engage into your back, into the right, the spine, the long muscle neck to tail and reverse the swan dive. Strong core, make sure nothing is in your lower back. You're lifting up. Very nice. Step back, warrior two. So from here, left leg would step back, 40, 60. You straight up the right foot. Open your arms, warrior two. So now, this is still you facing forward. Stay there. I'm going to turn sideways so we see the rest. Yes, and you are in your warrior two. Both hands are stretching. You keep opening your left knee. We're going back into your inner palm. So starting side lunge to left. So come into your side lunge. Drop in a half malasana. So right toes pointing up, heel is grounded, spine straight. Now go side lunge to the right, change it up. So 
but keep pushing toes up so we get external rotation. Spine straight, right knee out, both heels in one straight line. Hold and turn forward in your high lunge. Good. Remember your high lunge, both feet straight. Stretching through the left hip flexor, descend down into your low lunge. Beautiful. So keeping the alignment, if you lost the stretch in your low lunge through that left hip flexor, make bigger step. Both shoulders square. Let's do your chest heart opener and back stretch. So inhale, come into the back bend, open the arms out to side, shine the light from your heart. Exhale, hollow up and curl. So pull tummy in, push into the back, arms, palms away from each other. Hello, sunshine. See, I said be shining light and it's here. Inhale, open up your heart. So come in a back bend. Don't let your left hip externally rotate. So keep pushing the left hip forward and down. Exhale, scoop up through the tummy, shoulders away from you. Push into your back. The middle trapezius there. And one last one, inhale, open up. And exhale, curl, curl, curl. Beautiful. Inhale, hands in a pray. And exhale, twisted low lunge. Your left elbow hooks from behind the right knee. Hello, sunshine. So option one, stay here. Option two, open your arms, 12 and six. So again, shoulders down, chest move forward, tummy is not collapsing on your thigh, you're lifting up. Mm, so beautiful, hey? And come back to center, into your prey, inhale, lift up, exhale, slowly bring your hands down. Inhale, lift up, look up, run a stretch, untuck your left toe, send that left toe back. We haven't done this for a while now. I feel it. So you should feel it slightly, maybe to the right groin. I mean, after the pump class, I feel it everywhere. <laughs> so keep pushing left hip forward and down. Both hips straight. Now here, if you guys have a blocks, they can be handy. Because you want to have a straight spine. So I would rather use the block to keep the extension. Yeah. Exhale, pull back. Half split, same, not curving the back. So come in a half split, flex your foot. You can start with the block or possibly bend the knee, it's okay. Just keep flexing, starting the stretch from Achilles, calm, spine straight, extend. Both hips in one line. Often tends to happen that your right hip is kicking forward, so bring the right hip back. Left hip forward, so base of the spine straight, spine straight, foot flex, I feel it. Good. So if you can go lower, go lower. If you're more advanced and you're doing a full split, when we go on the other side, you can go to full split instead of half or do it here as well. Otherwise, you wouldn't have the same leg. Beautiful. Inhale, lift up, look up. Tuck your left toes under. Exhale, stepping back in your high plank. Now we go slowly, low plank, high plank. If you need to be on the knees, it's okay. Yeah? So I show one in the regression, one in the progression. This would be regression. Inhale, let's go everyone. Coming down to the low plank. Exhale, push in a heart. We go again. This is your progression. Inhale, elbow sliding the body, coming in low. Exhale, push in a heart. Now slowly, inhale, coming down. And exhale. Release your toe. Starting your locust pose. So keep your head down, chin down. Your legs will be nicely together. We will have a couple of variations. So first, interlace the fingers to the base of the spine. Press your palms against each other. 
shoulders away from me now on an inhale push your chest up and lift up now i want you in this one to keep the feet down to floor so reaching up opening your chest opening your shoulders strengthening your back your quads tight up through the booty keep looking up lifting up and slowly coming down variation to your full one so extend your arms out to side we go like little aeroplane we go all the way up so on an inhale now reach yourself up 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 lifting the arms lifting the legs of the floor try to squeeze your shoulders back work strength of your spine tight up the booty don't let your legs separate lift 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 and slowly coming down very nice bring your hands nicely down to the body we push back up into your plank so tucking your toes under if you need use the knees otherwise come first in your low plank push up in a half we go one side plank right hand so right hand up left the center and open up through your side beautiful lift up stretch up you know i like to train the obliques they support the position of your body they give you nice and safe twist right good rotation especially when you have a back issues i always use core stability protect the back and come back to center chaturanga low plank again it can be on the knees yeah you can be like this so chaturanga low plank either cobra or upward facing dog very nice keep the stretch and exhale push into your downward dog so lift up hip up if you need walk your dog and now we need to do the other side if you can just hold hold as i said the combination three leg dog to planks it's quite tough so if you guys have a brace issues or you're not that strong you're still working just that back strength arm strength shoulder strength you can hold your dog till we step into the high lunge it's okay so walk your feet together weight is on your right leg inhale keep stretching left leg up three leg dog exhale left knee to chest hug it in relax your neck inhale kick stretch three leg dog exhale left knee cross to the right elbow go down to your right wrist not touching the floor slide it to the left wrist pull through the core to the left elbow and kick up three leg dog stepping forward left leg high lunge so both hips pointing forward left knee aligned with the left heel you're pushing your right hip nicely down fully lengthening so that right hip flexor right quadriceps back you're gonna make the stretch stronger go lower and try to extend your right knee beautiful stay here pointing forward i'm turning front so you see again you're going that side stretch so lifting the arms up with the inhale on the exhale bring the arms to the left try to keep one straight line you don't feel much deeper stretch through your right side keep the breath now inhale come to the center exhale open your arms sideways so left arm forward palms up right arm back palms up and come back to center one last one inhale lift up come side to the left and exhale lift 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 inhale lift again exhale drop your arms down good inhale come back to the center exhale step right leg outside to your goddess so coming now in a turn up 
those heels in one line go nice and low push your chest forward getting lots of sunshine here now let's go up with your shoulder rotation so push up bring your palms down try to relax through the upper trunks this tough one this one and come back down into your bodice Let's go again, drive push up, bring your arms down, so using the rotator calves, and coming down. Let's go the twisted goddess, hands come down, so bring your shoulder forward, twist to the left to start with, keep pushing your knees up, so heels are firmly grounded, also your little toe is engaged, and change the side. Twisted goddess to right the left shoulder down. Beautiful. And coming up. Stepping back. Left, sorry, right leg into warrior. No, we're going up first, sorry. So lift up, open the arms up. Forgot completely about this one. You're going press forward. Four. So now bring your feet inwards, pigeon toe. Both arms stretching opposite direction. Inhale, tummy in, exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Good, so forward fold. If you can, stepping on all four fingers, body weight forward, relax your neck, pull on a heel. Try to fully extend the spine. We said if you can't hold under the heel, it's okay to hold anywhere in the legs. Now let's work on the spine extension, right? So keep bringing body weight forward. Pull more from the quadriceps, strong of the thigh. Try to release the back of the legs, relax your neck, but bring the shoulders away from you. One last breath. Release your arms, now bring them behind your coccyx. Interlace the fingers, bending to bending brick. Push your arms up and try to bring them over your head. So again, releasing the shoulder while we're stretching hamstring. Keep bringing the body weight slightly forward so the hip is nicely stuck above the heel for a safe hamstring stretch. Beautiful. Release your arms out to side and slowly reverse the squat. Strong course. I'm engaging in the back, lifting up, 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 up. Now we're stepping back in your warrior two. So your right leg stepping back, warrior two, both heels in one line, left arm forward. You should be still facing forward let me just turn around don't get confused so these positions you need to see from the side thank you evelyn <laughs> and good morning so you are in your warrior two chest forward keep lengthening the arm remember we're starting now through your side lunges so bring the body weight to the right so it's like your single malasana, but I want you to hold it in a squat. You're not dropping the hip down. So hands in a prey, trying to externally rotate that left toe. So left toes pointing out, your right knee is opening, weight is on the heel. Beautiful. Let's change the side. So bring the body weight now on your left leg, lifting the right toe up. Not too much weight through the ball of the foot. You don't want to bring too much on it of the knee. I really want to use my glute. So stick your bum out, go through your hip flexion, spread the weight evenly. Try to open your right toe even further up and come back forward into your high lunge. Good. Descending down to low lunge. So bring your right knee down. Thrust your hip forward, keep lifting up. If you lost the stretch, you know you need to do bigger step. So both hips pointing forward, fully lengthening your right hip flexor, your right quadriceps. 
beautiful. Let go into your chest. So inhale, come in a back bend. Open your chest. Open your heart. Palms away from each other. Exhale, tummy in. Curve into the spine. Again, yeah. So pushing into the back, pulling through the core. And again, inhale, open up. So coming in a back bend, shining the light to sky from your heart. Shoulders away from you. Keep this right hip rotating forward. Exhale, pull through the tummy, thrust through your back. Palms away from each other. One last one. Inhale, open up. And exhale, curve, 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 curve. Stretch through the whole back. And bring the hands in a pray. Inhale. On an exhale, twisted lunge. So right elbow hooks from behind the left knee. Shoulders down. Option one, stay here. Option two, 12 and six. So stretch after your left arm. Your rib cage away from the thigh. Hello, good morning. Hope you're doing the yoga with us. <laughs> so stay here, stretch. Lift your chest. Come back to center into your prayer. Hands come down. Inhale, lift up, look up, run a stretch. Untuck your right toe. Send the leg back. Chest up. So now is the time to bring the blocks if you need to. Yes, so spine is straight. Your right hip pointing forward and down. Your left knee aligned with the left heel. Yeah, just keep your biomechanics correct. You will get more from the stretch and it will be safer for you as well. So if you can go lower, stay down here. Exhale, pull back half split or full split left leg. So keep your left leg out, flex your foot. Stretching from the Achilles calf. Again, use the blocks to maintain the spine straight. Optionally, you can bend the knee. If it's still too tough for you, Bend the knee, first work on the spine. Then start analyzing how is the hip. Yeah, you want to bring your left leg slightly back perhaps, because body likes to run away from stretches. So both hips in one line, so pelvis square, toes flex, spine straight. If you can go lower, release the blocks. If you want to go in a full split instead of the half split, Go for it. Just keep your hip pointing down. Don't let it externally rotate it. Beautiful. Inhale, lift up, look up. Tuck your right toe under. Exhale, stepping back. High plank. So remember, we're doing two presses. You can choose on the knees with feet up. Thrust the pelvis forward. Or in a full plank, make sure you're hugging yourself with the elbow. Inhale, come down, low plank. Exhale, push up high. Inhale, come down, low. Exhale, push up high. And slowly coming down, lie down. Let's do your lotus. So start it nicely on the mat. Contract the glutes. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Chin stays down. It's again webbing to webbing grip. Keep your feet down. On an inhale, lift up, raise up. So shoulders away from here. You're stretching the chest. You're stretching your shoulders. Strengthening your core. Strengthening your back. Tight up through your glutes, inner thigh. Don't let your legs lift it in this way. Higher. And lower yourself down. Let's do the full one. So open up your arms out your side like aeroplane wings. Roll your shoulders again away from here. We lift up this time arms and the legs. So inhale, lift up, look up, stretch up. You want to be active through the back. So lifting from the strength of the glute, strength of the hamstring, shoulders away from me. Go fly, fly higher. And exhale, coming down. Very nice. Bring your hands to the body. 
fingers on the shoulders, hug yourself with the elbow. Tuck your toe under or use the knee, be lifting into the low plane to start with. So lift your belly off the floor, be in one straight line and then push press up into the full plank. Finishing side plank to the left. Right hand to center, left arm up to sky. So lifting from the hip, keep the breath pushing chest forward. One more breath and come back to center. Hug yourself with the elbow, chaturanga low plank. Cobra or upward facing dog, your choice. And exhale, push into your downwards dog. So press off the hands, stretch up. Beautiful. We finish in your frog press just five times. So bring the heels together, keep your toes out. So your legs are again externally rotated. Bring your hip down. So you want to begin this little froggy. So I'm pushing the knees out, but I have a V toes. The heels still together, toes are out, spine is straight. Two variations for those who've never done it. Option one, you go on the knees, thrust the pelvis forward, on the knees, come back in your frog. Option two, you're maintaining the heels together and knees outwards. If you come in a full frog, so you lengthen in a plank, and you come down. So your choice, I show two regression on your knees, three progression in a plank, you do which one you feel is right for you. So inhale, come forward. Good. The heels can separate each other. Exhale, pull back in your frog. I'm showing one more regression. Inhale, come forward. So knee, hip, knee, Back to frog. I'm showing the progressions. Inhale, go forward. Exhale, push down in your frog. Inhale, forward. So keep opening the hip, strengthening the inner thigh if you're fully extended. Exhale, come back, spine straight. One last one. Inhale, coming forward. And exhale, pull back. And walk or jump in the center of the mat, forward fold. We're finishing in the rug doll. Get up, hold on opposite elbow. If you feel now nice and stretched, you can keep the knees straight. If you feel still tight, soft at the knees and just dangle left, right, right, left. So your flow is nice and over. So hopefully the body is fully exhausted, strength and lengthen. Release your arms, inhale, lift up, look up. And you're in your Tadasana. Lovely. Have a sip of water. Be finishing the class as always. Compression, twist, meditation. So today we'll start compression in the shoulder mount. Now lying down onto the mat. You extend your arms, extending the leg, I mean, elastic slightly lower. So shoulder mount, right? Just be careful. Think about it that the most important thing is a compression driving chin towards the chest. Is the compression of the thyroid, your parathyroid, so be stimulating your hormonal system, your metabolism. Yeah. So bring the knees to the chest. Support yourself with your hands to the base of the spine. So lifting the booty up, try to now bring the elbows closer together. Your hands to the base of the spine. You're stretching your legs up. So the common mistake is people hinging the hip and the legs are behind. Now, I don't want this. I want you to really use your glutes, thrust pelvis forward, tight up the butt, straight up the legs. 
Yeah, so I'm active through my core, pushing your chin to the chest. We hold it, starting your plow. So open your legs in a struggle, flex the feet, bring them behind your head. Oh, I fit, just I fit. Keep pushing your hip up. So pulling tummy in, pushing the hip up, flex your feet. If you can't reach the floor, it's okay. You can just hang there, but keep lengthening it to the back. Lift your legs up, bring them together. We go single leg, flex your feet, drive the right foot behind your head. If you can't reach the floor again, just let the gravity to take over. Keep pushing your hip up, legs straight, very nice. And bring it up. Flex your left leg, bring it behind your head. You might notice there could be a difference between right and left. Keep compressing your chin to the chest. You definitely should not do what I do. I'm looking towards the camera, I'm talking to you. But you try to keep your head straight. And bring your leg up. Knees to the chest. And slowly. Roll your hip down. Come in your seated position. We'll go for the twist. So last two weeks, three weeks, we had the lying down twist. We go today for your seated twist. So we have a couple variations depending on your flexibility. So extend your left leg, cross your right. Make sure both sitting bones are firmly grounded. This is option one. Option two, if you feel that the flexibility is okay through the glute, you also can bend your left leg. So in this case, my right heel and the left knee should be quite together, yeah, comfortably together, maybe in front of each other. Now make sure your right bum cheek is not lifting off the floor. So ground it down. That's your starting position. Bring your right hand to the base of the spine, help you with the lift. On an inhale, stretch your left arm up to sky. On an exhale, bring your left elbow behind the right knee. Use it as a lever to twist up. So you're gonna stretch up from the crown, shoulders down just forward, and then rotate behind your right shoulder. Now, option one, stay here. Option two, we go further in a twist, so you can extend your left hand and grab your left knee. Option one, this is what you want. Option two, we're gonna do bind. So lift that right leg up, grab it from behind your back and try to grab your left thigh while you're keeping the rotation. Yeah. So reaching up to sky and twist. Twist is like you're raising the wet top. Keep your sitting bone grounded and twist and come back to center. Very nice. So rotation other side. Extend your right leg, cross the left. Use the left hand to base of the spine to lift up. Option one, this is it. Option two, you can also bend your right knee, adjust so the left heel is together with the right knee. Keep the stretch. Ground your sitting bone, inhale, lift up, stretch up through the right arm, exhale, right elbow, go behind the left knee. So pushing chest forward, lifting from the waist, now use that knee as a lever to rotate to the left. So pulling nicely through the waist up, good. Option one, stay in this rotation, don't forget to brace, yeah? Option two, go for a deeper stretch. Your right hand grabs the right knee. So therefore you need to pull slightly higher. The higher you lift, the easier it is to rotate. If you want, now left arm lifts up. Make sure the spine stays straight. Wraps from behind the spine. You're trying to grab your right thumb. Maintain the rotation. And twist, 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 and come to center. Very nice. 
the last bit we're gonna do your butterfly here so bring your sole of the feet together try to have the heels as close to the groin as possible and then bring your knees down lift off the waist so we had these side lunges right through the class we did have only one warrior two so this is the final bit how you can get in your groin in your inner thigh Hip opener. Good. If you can go further, lean forward, push your elbows down to the thigh, keep the spine straight, but you're yeah, not curving, so shoulders away from you, lifting from the waist, go forward. One last breath and lift yourself up. Come on your mat. So lying down, bring the knees to the chest, finishing happy baby, Stavasana. So flexing the feet, open up your legs, your hands touching outside of the foot. Feet are flexed, you're opening the legs, you're trying to drive the knees to your armpits. So, with each exhale, try to drop the hip down. You can gently also pull on the sole of the feet. That is the final one for your hips. And now try to lengthen through your coccyx forward and down. The head stays down. One last breath. And bring the knees to the chest. Extend your arms. Extend your legs and you are in a well-deserved Savasana. So I invite you to close your eyes and just concentrate on your breast. Inhale, belly rise. Exhale, belly fall. Inhale, belly rise. Exhale, belly falls. Stay lying down and concentrate on the inflow and outflow of your breath while I take you through the final meditation. Relax your toes. Relax your ankles. Relax your calf muscles. Relax your knees. Relax your thighs. Relax your hips. Relax your abdominal area. Relax your chest. Relax your neck. Relax your jaw. Relax your tongue. Let it just drop down heavy your mouth. Relax your cheekbones. Relax your eyes. Relax.
relax the space between your eyebrows. Relax your forehead. And relax your mind. 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 yourself a gratitude for the time you invest into your well-being give yourself lots of love and send love to all beings everywhere on this planet to everyone who is in a need of the enlightenment I'm wishing you beautiful rest of the weekend. Thank you so much guys for the subscriptions, for the following and for your donation. You are amazing. And know that I always give unconditionally to you. So if you have any requests, any needs, doesn't matter if you subscribe or not, please. Uh, write me as I want to make these classes for you. So all the classes are available on the replay for subscription. So if you need something on replay, that's probably the best way about it if you can't make the time. So again, thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed my today's class. Sending you lots of love. And I'll see you in the next stream. And that's going to be Tuesday, 6 p.m. for the posture clinic. And then we have a Wednesday, 7.30 Pilates. Thursday, 7 p.m. bath. And Saturday, pump 10 a.m. Sunday yoga. So thank you very much, everyone. Namaste. If you can, stay in a Savasana as long as you have time. Beautiful day, everyone.